What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got some great news for you regarding the iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak, iOS 9 and beyond. So this is just a quick update video to fill you guys in on what's been going on with the news regarding the current jailbreak status, iOS 8.4.1, iOS 9 and beyond that. So as we all know, iOS 8.4.1 was released. It does block the latest version of the jailbreak, Taiji's exploit from working, and you can no longer jailbreak. So that wasn't all so bad because you could downgrade but now Apple has closed the downgrade period for the iOS 8.4 downgrade. So you can no longer downgrade from 8.4.1 if you are on it. So that is bad news, but the good news is in a recent demo at an event, Pangu jailbreak team did actually reveal that they did have a working 8.4.1 jailbreak and they did demo it on video. So it's unlikely they have any intention of releasing it, but it was good to know that even though Apple patched so many exploits, especially many of them that they did give credit to the Taiji jailbreak team, Pangu did jailbreak 8.4.1, the latest version. Now, this is good for two reasons. One, we know there's a ton of exploits that Apple hasn't fixed in this latest version. And two, some of these could possibly carry over to iOS 9. Now, the reason Pangu is not going to be releasing this for 8.4.1 is because there's literally no difference between these firmwares. It's very unlikely that they would release it. Apple released 8.4.1 just to patch some bugs with the music application. Beyond that, there's no real incentive to upgrade. So for the Pangu jailbreak team, there's really no reason to jailbreak this newest version. Besides, it would be a waste to waste all of those exploits on a firmware with really nothing new. Going from 8.1.2 to 8.3 or 8.4 was a big change, so that was worth burning exploits for, but in this case, not so much. Now, let me talk to you guys about iOS 9. Now, although Pengu is not releasing this jailbreak for 8.4.1, they could be saving some of these exploits for iOS 9, but there could be a major problem with that as well. iOS 9 has kernel patch protection, which makes using exploits from iOS 8 near impossible. I mean, it really depends on what the final version of iOS 9 is going to look like, but currently no one's been able to jailbreak in iOS 9 beta. However, these exploits could aid in the jailbreak for iOS 9. It's great that they're not releasing it because they're giving themselves a better chance at jailbreaking iOS 9 later. So props to them on that. Now the Pengu jailbreak team isn't the only team that's working on an iOS 9 jailbreak. In an earlier video, I did talk about the Keen jailbreak team and they're actually working on an iOS 9 jailbreak as well well. Let me go ahead and show you guys, you know, there's no reason to wait for them. I have it right here. So iOS 9 and a working version of Cydia right here. <laughs> just kidding guys. Yes, this is technically not iOS 9. I just modified the identifier value in settings. So if you look in here, it's not. And this I actually did just to warn you guys, there's going to be a ton of people online showing you the exact same thing. They're going to say, oh, look, at I have the new version. Uh, I've got the version right here in settings. And then they're going to give you some BS jailbreak download tool. And it's going to give you a bunch of viruses and it's going to take a lot of time and you're going to regret it at the very end. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is be very careful of people trying to scam you online saying they have a working version of the jailbreak for iOS 9 or 8.4.1. Just want to show you how easy it is to modify this value right here. All you guys have to do is download iFile and then go ahead and go into the core services system version, this guy, and then see, I'm going to modify it back to 8.4. And once I go back into settings, Actually, let me click done. But once I go back into settings, I'm on 8.4 right there. So it's extremely easy to trick people into thinking they're on the latest version, but I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Do not get scammed. Don't fall for you know any scams because people will try and do that. They get a lot of money from you filling out surveys and stuff. So pretty much only trust new sites and the actual developers themselves. Now, I just wanted to mention two other things. Pangu actually did comment that if they were to release an iOS 9 jailbreak, they wouldn't do it for the first initial release. iOS 9.0 is probably going to have a ton of bugs. The team actually said that they would release a jailbreak for an iOS 9.1 version. The reason being it'll have new features and it'll fix all of the initial bugs with iOS 9. You guys remember iOS 8? It was a disaster. So it totally makes sense that they would release it on 9.1. You know, it's a better build of iOS 9 with new features and all of the bugs patched. So two, iOS 9 is going to be rootless. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Although it is rootless, it doesn't mean it's impenetrable. Someone can jailbreak it. It's just going to be a matter of time. 
time because it doesn't use the kernel exploits that iOS 8 uses, it's going to be extremely difficult finding a way into the root. So it really, really will be difficult. And I can't say much about it because I personally don't really understand it. But with time, we should be able to get some more information on that and hopefully some updates from the team. It's really going to break the news when someone posts a video of the true iOS 9 version being jailbroken. So pretty much with this video, I did want to let you know that iOS 8.4.1 has been jailbroken, although it's very unlikely we will see that jailbreak ever released. And iOS 9 is being worked on by two teams, Pangu and the Keen jailbreak team. So that's great. The reason there is even an iOS 8.4.1 jailbreak is because Pangu and Taiji were working on separate exploits. So Pangu has some exploits that weren't even used and Taiji has some exploits that were just patched. So therefore, Pangu could release an 8.4.1 jailbreak with exploits never before seen. So it really is great that there are multiple teams working on the same goal. That means we can have jailbreaks using different exploits on different versions and that's fantastic. So protect your device on 8.4 if it is jailbroken right now. Remember, you're living in the end times. This is survival mode. So protect your device from any sort of restores or updates to the latest versions. And remember, you can't do it from settings. It has to be done from iTunes. So be careful when syncing. And lastly, I mentioned this in a different video, but Mac Rumors has spotted iOS 9.1 being tested already. So Apple is working on future firmware versions, even though we don't even have iOS 9 yet. It's good to know that there are future versions and we're going to be seeing a lot of great stuff with time. So guys, we're very close to the release of iOS 9. Be very careful. Just wanted to let you know all of the latest news. It's hard for me to even imagine an iPhone 6S coming out and being able to jailbreak it. Imagine the world of possibilities that Force Touch would open with Cydia tweaks. That really would be incredible. So all the developers that are currently working on making that happen, please bless you. Bless your hearts for uh, doing that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this little update. Peace.